All right, so in this video, you know you've seen this one before, super long CZ452 Ultralux. What I'm going to do is a shooting comparison. Right now, I'm going to fire some of these 38 grain Agilia subsonic uh, rounds, which is my hunting load for this gun, and uh, are mighty quiet out of this 28 and a half, 29 inch barrel. Um, then, after that, I'm going to fire some of these CCI quiets. Uh, these Agilias are like 1070 feet per second. The quiets are rated at 710 feet per second. So basically what it comes down to is this subsonic round is going to sound like a high velocity round, like a CCI mini mag. And this quiet round is going to sound like a subsonic. Now it's the same way if I shoot a CCI mini mag and then I shoot these subsonics, I get the same translation and sound. But subsonics are super quiet in it. Quiet's even more quiet. So I'm gonna shoot at 25 yards. Um, I really don't even need hearing protection. Uh, I'm gonna wear my glasses. And uh, just gonna see and show you what the, what the difference is in the sound. All right, so five rounds at nine power, parallaxed out at about 25 yards using the Target Dot Clear Ridge Ultra RM 3x9x32. <whistles> Telling you boys, this is a quiet gun. If you can stand toting it in the woods, Toting it somewhere to sit down. It is an incredible gun that will knock squirrels out. And I've heard some people say, and it doesn't matter about the sound of the round. I'm one that believes it does. And uh, this joker is super quiet. You're going to be able to hear it right here. I got another camera running down range. Cal catching the group. Of course the group is spectacular. It's pretty much a big old hole at 25 as it should be. You should expect this type of accuracy out of CZ452. If it's not giving you this accuracy, something's wrong. Could be your ammo, could be your scope, could be a crown on the gun, could be a myriad of things, but you've got to work it out and figure it out. All right, so I just fired those five Agilias. Be tough to only have one eye. It's difficult with depth perception here. I'm gonna tell you one thing about my CZs. This gun right here loves CCI Mini Mag, but it negates the purpose of the gun. I want the gun. I want the gun. I want to look like a pirate when I keep talking. I want the gun to lost my train of thought with that skid out, whatever was going on over there. I want the gun to be as quiet and accurate as possible. But with CCI mini mags, this is a problem I have. They have a forcing band on them or something up front. And uh, what I was getting at was the CCI, the, 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 uh, the, it loves mini mags. It doesn't chamber them well. It shoots them well, but it negates the sound, uh, the extra length of barrel for the sound uh, suppression. So I won't shoot subsonics in it. Now we're going to run some quiets. I think I put four in. They're very difficult to chamber. They're not going to group as well. I don't even know if they're going to group on a paper. Take a listen to this. You thought the subs were quiet. And 
they're not hitting that much lower, but they're much more difficult. You just have to force that bolt handle a whole lot harder. And they're not grouping bad for 25 yards. So, there's the difference out of a CZ Ultralux with subsonic ammunition and CCI's quiet ammunition. World of difference. Now, at 50 yards, I don't think it's going to group any way close to that tight. And it certainly didn't group as tight as my Agilia subsonics. So it's not a round I would choose to hunt with. But for yard vermin, stuff like that, 25 yard shots, uh, and your neighbor's really not knowing about it, it's pretty doggone quiet ammunition. And it does pretty good for accuracy. And uh, of course it's made by a company, CCI Spear, that's uh, known in the ammunition world. Uh, I run CCI mini mags in my brown and T-bolt. They're, they're good rounds. They're hard hitters. They take squirrels right out of the treetops. Subsonics will do the same for me. Don't know if I'd had that much confidence in the quiets, but Super quiet gun, super long gun, super beautiful gun. Uh, wow, if you can get your hands on a 452 Ultra Lux, I'd suggest you do it. What a super, super sweet gun. All right, guys, thanks for checking this one out. Hope it was good for you.